In the heartlands of Ohio, lives marked by violence and tragedy stand on the precipice of a fateful reckoning. Welcome to the fourth installment of our documentary series on death row inmates in 2024. Today we delve into the haunting tales of John David Stumpf, Lawrence Alfred Landrum and Warren Keith Hennis, lives intertwined with darkness and despair. Our journey begins with John David Stumpf, a man whose fate has been entwined with the shadows of Ohio's justice system for over three decades. Convicted of the murder of 54-year-old Mary Jane Stout in 1984, Stump's path to execution has been marked by legal battles and rescheduled dates. On May 14, 1984, Stump, along with his cohorts Clyde Daniel Wesley and Norman Leroy Edmonds, embarked on a fateful journey that would forever change the lives of the Stout family. Armed and intoxicated, they embarked on a robbery that culminated in tragedy at the Stout residence near New Concord, Ohio. Stump's involvement in the crime led to the death of Mary Jane Stout, a loss that reverberated through the community. Despite his claims of innocence and attempts to shift blame, Stump's guilt was established through overwhelming evidence. Scheduled for execution multiple times, including September 15, 2021, and rescheduled for August 13, 2024, Stump's fate hangs in the balance as the wheels of justice slowly turn. From the shadows of Stump's tale emerges Lawrence Alfred Landrum, a figure haunted by his past transgressions. Convicted of the murder of 84-year-old Harold White in 1985, Landrum's life has been marred by addiction, violence and remorse. Before his arrest, Landrum's troubled existence was marked by a tumultuous upbringing and a descent into drug dependency. His encounter with Harold White on September 19, 1985, would result in a brutal act of violence that shook the community of Chillicothe, Ohio. Landrum's involvement in the robbery turned murder led to a conviction and subsequent death sentence. Scheduled for execution on December 9, 2021, Landrum's date with destiny was rescheduled to October 15, 2024, amidst Ohio's ongoing struggles with execution protocols and drug procurement. As our narrative unfolds, we encounter Warren Keith Hennis, another soul ensnared in the tangled web of Ohio's death row. Convicted of the robbery and murder of 51-year-old Richard Myers in 1992, Hennessy's life became a tale of deceit, violence and betrayal. On March 20, 1992, Hennessy's encounter with Myers, a laboratory technician and mentor, would spiral into a grisly tale of greed and brutality. His involvement in the robbery turned murder left a trail of devastation in its wake, with Myers's body discovered in an abandoned water purification plant bearing the scars of a violent end. Hennessy's multiple execution dates, including January 12, 2022, and his subsequent rescheduling to December 17, 2024, underscore Ohio's ongoing struggle to navigate the complexities of capital punishment in a changing legal landscape. As we conclude this chapter in our exploration of death row inmates in 2024, the echoes of these haunting tales linger in the air, a sobering reminder of the fragility of life and the depths of human darkness. Join us in the next instalment as we continue our journey through the corridors of death row, shedding light on the lives shaped by tragedy, remorse and the relentless pursuit of justice.